Hello everyone, I'm back here with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Nitro or Nitro 5 laptop. This one is an Acer Nitro 5, the exact model is that the back sticker on the back of the laptop is an AN515-57-79PD. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the hard drives and what are the combination of the hard drives you can have in here and what are the recommended ones. Uh, or if you just want to upgrade or add extra storage, this video is for you. Just remember by removing the main hard drive SSD, which this one comes with a 500 gig probably, I don't remember. If you want to replace that one with a better quality or anything like that, you have to back up your files, everything, because you have to install Windows freshly on the new window, on the new SSD. Just remember to, in order for you to have the win, uh, Windows license key to be linked, yeah, just remember, if you, once you install the Windows and you worry about your Windows license key, just before formatting, doing anything, go to your Windows and associate Microsoft account to your Windows, and then your product key is going to be automatically assigned a link to your email address, which on the Microsoft account. With that said, then you can back up your files and you can replace the hard drive, and then you can install Windows freshly. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive and also made a video how to properly install on your laptop. I'll leave those links in the video description. Okay, with all those said, let's go ahead and let's dive in. First thing first, back up the files, power on the laptop, flip it upside down. I usually use a workshop towel on the, on the table so I don't want it let it scrum or anything, it scratch the top part which is really nice and soft. So, do it like that. Next, the tools that I'll be using beside the workshop towel is an iFixit screwdriver set. I, there's a normal version and there's a pro version. With the screwdriver set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, tweezers, and a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a plastic rod or wooden rod like this, you know, or a spatula. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick, a 0.3 millimeter metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and cover. All right, with this all in hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just start from one corner and remove all of them, including the one in the middle, and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Now that we remove all the screws, we're gonna grab the opening tool, and we're gonna start by the front corner where the speakers are, and we're gonna stick them between the bottom cover, just wiggle it in there, you stick it there, and then you just wanna twist it like that and it will open up the bottom cover like that. So, uh, too close to the camera right there. So I'm gonna do that here between the palm rest. Stick it there and work yourself around all the way. So that you can twist them around in there. And go all the way to the side. I'm sticking about two or three millimeter. I'm not sticking the whole thing. Once I did the front and the side, and the side where the, you have the Ethernet jack right in here, I usually go a little bit past that one. So I don't want to stress this jack right here, so otherwise you can crack it right through there. So let me lift it up. And once I get to the corner, I don't want to go to the, all the way back. Simply all what I do, I'll put it on the table, grab the front and wiggle it around like this, and you want to hear those back clips uh, releasing itself. And there's the bottom cover. And right on the bottom cover, they have a heat sink for M.2s with the thermal pads on top. So if they go like this, this thermal pad touches this M.2, this one will touch the one that's on here. All right. Down here, we're gonna see the battery and big, huge empty space here. And there's an SSD Western Digital 512 gig that it comes with their factory. These are really cheaply made SSDs. And on this side, you're gonna see another M.2, which comes all the way here with, they actually provided you with a screw right over here. 
Um, people always say, you know what, why don't you remove the battery if you want to do anything like that? It's absolutely not necessary. But for those paranoid people that they want to remove the battery or disconnect it, remove the gaffer tape over the cable, pull the cables to one side. What you want to do here, you want to pull this jack backward evenly with, with your fingernails right there. Put them back towards the battery and the jack will come out loose. If not, I'm just going to put it back in evenly, goes in, push it in evenly, tuck the cables in there, put the gaffer tape in there so it holds the cables in place. And that's it. All right, but I'm not going to remove the battery because it's absolutely not necessary. To remove the M.2, this is the main SSD and PCI Express. There are two PCI Express, so you can put two M.2 NVMEs. I recommend you guys to grab the Samsung uh, M NVMe. These are Samsung Pro. These are really, really, really durable, and they will last you many years comparing to these cheap brands. Okay, I already highly recommend you this ones. Let's say if you want to add your M.2 extra storage and not touch your main storage, remove the screw right over here. Grab the M.2, bring it down and let me zoom in. Grab your M.2, make sure the notch on M.2 matches the notch right in here. There's a little tiny notch right there. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a notch right on the dam. So all you want to do, you want to bring it down in 45 degree or 20 degree, just like that. And you want to push it all the way inside the jack. Once it's inside the jack, it's going to stay up like that. Picture. Then all you want to do is just push it down gently. but And you want to put up the screw right in here. And there you go. That's how you put the M.2. To remove the M.2, let's say this main one, just unscrew it. And it will come out again in 45 degree angle. And then you want to pull it backward in the same uh, angle. Don't lift it up, otherwise you're going to crack the hard drive, the SSD. So you can see they have a little controller and one stick of the, uh, what's called, NAT chip right in here. So what you want to do, you want to bring it down in 45 degree, all the way there. Put it there. And tighten up the screw right there. This is for demonstration, and this is my M.2. I don't want to put it in there. So I'm going to remove this one. Oh, shit. And pull it out. Put the screw in here. And there's another upgrade in here. You can do it, and sometimes they do provide, but in this model, they haven't provided. You can put an, a mechanical hard drive in here, right over here. This is for a mechanical space hard drive but they didn't give you an adapter for it. The adapter goes from here to this flex cable right over here. You can lift up this flex cable and stick the adapter there. The adapters, they usually, they look like something like this. It comes with an adapter with a flex cable, goes through here. So what you want to do, I'll try to find the link for this one. You can put an, a, a two terabyte mechanical hard drive in here, or you can put an, an SSD 2.5 inch in here. So to put the adapter in there, all you need to do is align it. Stick it all the way inside the jack. And close the lid. And put the adapter right through here. And then you want to just uh, squeeze it right in this space, right in there. Okay? But before you put it in there, you want to grab some screws. And to hold this cat is two screws on this side. And two screws on the other side. And let's remove this one. So to remove the caddy, the caddy is just a bracket to hold the hard drive in one place. If you want to put an SSD in there, just put the SSD. You don't need to put the screws on the side. The SSD doesn't need to be held down firmly. So, But if you want to put a mechanical hard drive, you have to remove these four screws. Remove the caddy. Put the hard drive on the caddy and get yourself a 2.5 inch as a hard drive screws two in here and two in on the other side and then you want to put it down first connect it is easier to depending on your adapter length of the cable connect the cable put the hard drive in there and put the four screws for the caddy okay so that's how you can add an extra m dot uh, ssd hard drive or mechanical hard drive on the secondary bay to put this caddy back on, put it right there. And 
put the four screws for it. There we go. Now, if you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in and that should cover everything. Next thing you know, put the bottom cover right on top. You squeeze the front side down. You wanna hear those big click sounds, the back, all those nice clicky and everything like that. And the last thing down here would be to just put the bottom screws on the cover and that should be all. Just remember, you have to install your windows if you have removed the main SSD. I get lots of questions, people asking me, oh, and I don't have any windows on my hard drive, as I repeat all the time. Install your windows, it's really easy and fast to do it. It takes five to 10 minutes to install your windows and you're ready to go. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.